Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of this video, this is how to save or redeco like a failed, um, <laughs> a failed deco. So every once in a while, even me, I make mistakes and then I end up hating what I made. So this was supposed to be like a caramel apple with a leaf and then here's like a little stick, but I just hate it and I hate the way it looks and I don't think it did very well at all. So I am going to show you how to make sure to get it off carefully or as carefully as possible so that you can redo it and it not be super damaged. So pretty much once you put puffy paint on something, it's going to stay. So I have already put this in the refrigerator, or no, 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 the freezer for about 30 minutes. So it's a little bit more slow rising because it's cold and I should have saved this for the video, but it already starts to let you peel it up and I paint everything white first, so that's why you'll see the white underneath there. But I'm going to go ahead and try to start on this other side just to show you how to carefully lift the paint. So make sure you have like some sharp nails or something that you can go and just lightly start to pick at this. And not to do it too hard to where you're going to peel off the actual under undercoat. But for some reason putting it in the freezer does something to the fabric paint that allows it to separate. So you see how I'm starting to be able to lightly peel without, and just do this very, very slowly all around the edges until you can start picking up speed and doing the main part of the donut. So it's basically just peeling off what I put on the first layer and then that just peels off the rest of it. But just like I said, go very slow and steady. You don't want to rip underneath because if you start ripping off the actual foam, when you go to redeco it, you're going to see that and it's going to mess it up and make it look super messy. And if you start to peel it and you realize that you are peeling the actual under foam just put it back in the freezer for a little bit get it nice and cold and then start peeling it again and just be very 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 patient and this was a rainbow donut which was also designed by me so start pulling off these little these little parts right here. And then, like I said, go slowly and it should just start to come off perfectly. It's nice when you can get all the corners or the edges off first. It makes it a little bit more smooth of a removal process. There we go. Almost done. Just patience. It's like taking off a poor strip. go back in and peel this apart off here too. So I actually thought of this method because when I used to do resin, that was the only way I could get the uh, resin out of the plastic um, containers was to freeze it, to cause it to shrink, and then it would separate perfectly from the plastic. So I was like, maybe I could do that with the puffy paint. So that's the technique. I hope it works for you. Like I said, just be very, very patient with it. When in doubt, put it back in the freezer. <laughs> 
thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see any other um, decoing tips or tricks. I would be happy to make those videos for you. Just let me know. Love you guys.